Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how you set up a Kindle Paperwhite out of the box. Now, first I wanna start off with how you charge this. As you can see from the instruction manual, we can plug it in with the provided cord and this side with the USB type C is gonna plug in to the Paperwhite at the bottom here. Unfortunately, they don't give us a wall adapter. We can plug this into a computer's USB port, for instance, but you have to buy one of these wall adapters separately if you want to charge it that way. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to get one of these wall adapters from Amazon. You can plug this end of the USB port into that wall adapter and then plug it into the wall to charge your Kindle Paperwhite. An additional option that you have is you can also charge this wirelessly if you have a Qi wireless charger. This is a wireless charger that I have. I plug this in and just set the Kindle Paperwhite on it and it will charge wirelessly sitting on this. And I'll also have a link posted to wireless chargers from Amazon as well if that is something that you're interested in down in the description. So to get started with setup, we're gonna power on by holding on this button here at the bottom and waiting for the screen to turn on. Give it a little time to initialize. After about 20 seconds or so, it takes us to this page where we can select our language. For me, it's going to be English, so I'm going to tap on the English option and then click Next. And then selecting my region. For me, it's going to be United States, so selecting that and then again clicking Next. And again, waiting for it to initialize. And for me, it took this page where it's welcoming me to my Kindle Paperwhite and that I'm logged in and connected to my wireless internet connection. And this is because I already have Amazon products set up with my account and connected to my internet connection, so it was able to do this automatically. Now, if this is the first time you're setting up an Amazon product, then instead of this page, it will take you to a page where you need to select your wireless Wi-Fi router and then enter in your password to connect up to your wireless internet connection. And then after that, it will take you to a page where you need to log into your Amazon account with your Amazon username and password. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can create an Amazon account from that page as well. So at this point, to confirm my Amazon account, I click Next. And that takes us to the next page where it wants us to set up the Kindle app on our smartphone device. And we can get a text to this download link to download the Kindle app on our phone by entering in our phone number and then clicking Send Link. So I'm going to take you over to my phone to get to that next step. So after clicking next, I got a text message from Amazon. So opening up my messaging app and opening up the Amazon Kindle text message that I received and then click on this link to get the Kindle app. That'll take us over to the download and install page for the Amazon Kindle application. And for me, it's through the Google Play Store since I'm on an Android device. So clicking on install. And for me, it's asking which device to install the Amazon Kindle on. So I'm going to select my smartphone and then click install. And then it says Amazon Kindle will be installed on your device soon. So I'm going to click OK and going back to my home page. And once it's downloaded and installed, I should get a pop up for the Amazon Kindle application on my smartphone. And once you find the Kindle app icon on your device, you can click on it to open it up. And this already has my Amazon account linked up. But if you want to use a different account, you can select use a different account option. But I'm going to use my Amazon email that I have already set up with this. So I'm going to click where it says start reading. That takes us into the Kindle app and it says it's going to sync my account. So now we're set up with the Kindle app on our phone. So I'm going to head back over to the Kindle Paperwhite itself to finish up the setup process. So where we left the Kindle Paperwhite, it's asking me if I'd like to set up a Goodreads account. And it says, be part of the world's largest community of book lovers on Goodreads. Get recommendations from readers that you like. So if you'd like to do this, it's pretty easy to sign up. It says create an account using your Amazon login and use your Amazon account to sign in to Goodreads. So you can select that and then click next if this is something you're interested in. Otherwise, you can click no thanks. And by clicking next, it says it's going to create a Goodreads account with the same username and password as my Amazon account. So to do this, I can click where it says create account and then click OK to register. Also, if you'd like, you can set up and start a 30 day free trial to Audible. But if you don't want to do this, you can click no thanks. And that's finally going to take us to the homepage of the Kindle Paperwhite, and that's going to finish up the setup process. So I'm going to continue to make some additional tutorial videos on the Kindle Paperwhite, so you can check those out over on my YouTube. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to my YouTube, and I'll catch you back here next time.